It's always good to catch up with the interstate trainers and drivers and on this particular occasion I managed to catch up with one of Victoria's best as far as the training rinks is concerned, Joe Pace. Well Joe, good to see you back at Club Menangle. Looking for your first win as a trainer in your own right. You've had success here previously but under the care of other trainers. That's right Mick. Um, I had uh, Rock and Roll Chapel and Supreme Dominator with Luke and uh, Diamond Party and um, Doubtless Bay with Jason Grimson, yeah. Joe, you're always destined to be a harness racing trainer after a wonderful career enjoyed by your father, Vic, over 50 years in the business, and he's still here tonight making sure everything runs smoothly. Yeah, Dad, look, Dad's a good mentor. Um, he done his apprenticeship with, uh, with Neville Gath and, and uh, George Gath and Alfie Simons back in his day, you know, um, and he sort of carried um, the understanding of harness racing through, and um, he's always taught us that... Um, if you can't get anything right, go back to the beginning and start again, yeah. Joe, you don't have a big stable, but you certainly have a boutique stable. Yeah, that's right. Look, um, it, it's all good to train qu uh, quantity, um, but then you need um, quality as well. So um, I've, I've got some really nice horses at home, and, and um, you know when you're driving out of the front gate, you're going to bring a, a check home for the owners. Now, one of your spies over across the ditch is certainly one of the best in the business, Tony Hurley. He, you do depend on having a large number of Kiwis in your stable. Yeah, right. And, and look, Tony, Tony's been um, a, a big credit. You know, um, me and Tony, we've got a, a bit of a bond together and he knows what I'm looking for. Um, and he sort of points me to the right, to the right direction. And um, I'm not afraid to buy horses of him, mate. You know, um, he, he sort of sends me genuine horses that, that can do the job here. And, um, and for example, Rock and Roll Chapel, um, she was one of them. Uh, we purchased her for 30000 and she's won 180 in stake, yeah? Um, so, um, you know, uh, why not go back to him, you know? He's an honest man and, and a terrific guy. And, um, you know, um, when, when you've got um, someone like him over up in New Zealand that could pinpoint the horse for you, yeah, I, I don't hesitate, yeah. Joe, apart from having your dad still involved watching over proceedings, a lot of family success has been attributed to your brother Darren and, and brother William and also your sister Natalie. Yeah, look, um, you know, uh, we sort of um, grew up in horses and, and we... You know, at first we were just doing it as a hobby. Um, we would have, you know, one or two in, in work, and and then um, I purchased a property um, just outside of Melton, and probably the last four or five years I went full time, and and um, thank, thankfully I had the owners behind me to support me. You've mainly been basing your career around paces, but now you're starting to get more involved with the trotter, and that's why we're seeing a very talented and promising type in Harry Stamper here for the New South Wales Derby. Yeah, look, um, and it all started with one horse, and that was Natty Pegger. Um, he was honest, and he virtually taught me um, uh, virtually, you know, how trotters actually work. Um, and um, I, I thought, well, I wouldn't mind getting another one. And um, and Harry Stamper, he's, he's another horse, uh, you know, um, got good ability. He impressed me at the trials. He impressed James Herbison and myself at uh, Bendigo last start. Um, and um, look, I, I do give him a good chance tonight. Joe, your son Adrian is showing a lot of promise, but you're keen just to hold the reins back a little bit longer with his career. Yeah, look, Adrian, he's, he's doing a terrific job in the cart. Um, and uh, sometimes um, you can outdrive your, your claim very quickly. Um, and sometimes you could sort of learn very quickly and, um, and forget um, the values of, um, of being a good sport um, and, and this industry um, it teaches you that, that lot of that kind of value um, um, you know like with Adrian uh, sometimes you just got to put the brakes and um, he, he knows his form he knows his horses he, he reads his form very well um, and uh, he does a terrific job and look there'll be a time where he'll take over the, over the stables and he'll be a very successful trainer in his own right. Apart from his obvious talent in the sulky and no doubt as a trainer moving forward, you've also impressed on him the fact that he must have a career. Oh yeah, look, um, in, in harness racing it's, it's, it's a hard gig, it's, it's not easy and I've seen a lot of, a lot of junior drivers and Josh Duggan, James Herbison, Chris Alford, John Caldo in my time um, where, where they've made it and, and made it sort of big. Um, there's a lot of juniors that um, they've made it as juniors but didn't go on um, and, and that's something that 
um, you've got to be careful and, and make sure that he's on the right path going forward, yeah. So he's still an apprentice carpenter? Yes, he is. Um, it's always good to have an apprenticeship behind you and a job to fall back on if things don't work out. Um, and he's enjoying um, juggling two jobs um, by by going to the races and, and going to work, you know. So um, he, he, he needs, he needs a, uh, a job to fall back on, yeah. Joe, Cranbourne Cup winner, Supreme Dominator, one of the stars of your stable. You must be looking, for, uh, looking forward to having him back and with no doubt bigger class races ahead. Yeah, look, um, we were sort of, uh, he, he's, he's trialling on Monday and we are talking about the idea of going to um, Queensland for, for the bigger races there and taking just a little sip uh, for the derby. Um, we had a good, I had a good talk with the owners um, and we advised that uh, the best thing for him is to stay home and tackle races like the Victoria Cup and, and the Hunter Cup and the Enter Dominion at the end of the year, yeah. Well, Joe, it's been great to catch up with you. Hopefully we'll see you as a winning trainer in your own right very shortly here at Club and Angle. I hope so, Mick. Thank you.